Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to resolve a very annoying error in VS Code. I'm using Java and I have this error that says Java Home not found in your environment. So where does this come from and how do I fix it? So before we get to that, I just want to let you know that my name is Shad Sluder and I teach software development at Grand Canyon University. If you subscribe to the channel, you'll get all kinds of tutorials on how to develop software with Java, C Sharp, JavaScript, and other prop popular languages. And so I welcome you to come along and see what we're doing. So let's get to this error. So it says Java Home is not found, and uh, I need to fix that. So let's go take a look at my command prompt. We'll start there. So CMD is my what I'm typing. And I want to know if I have Java installed. So I type in Java version, and it says you don't have Java. If I type in where Java, uh, it still says, I don't know what you're talking about. So we need to get Java set up first. So the first thing I want to do is verify that I've downloaded the Java uh, runtime or the Java development kit. And so I'm searching for JDK. I go to the download section and I'm picking from Oracle here. Uh, you can get it from various locations, but I'm choosing this one here called the MSI installer for Windows. And I click the download link and wait a few minutes. So I'm going to run the installation and give it permission to run and I will choose all of the defaults as we go through the setup. So I'm on the process of installing, so I'm going to choose the default settings. So you can see that I'm targeting this folder for the installation. This is important. This is your Java home. So it says C, Program Files, Java, JDK, and this version is number 22. So I'll choose Next and I'll go ahead and give it permissions and wait. All right, it says it was successful, so let's go ahead and close this, and let's try it again at the command prompt. Let's see if it knows what Java version is, and it says it's still not recognized. So I believe we need to restart our computer, and if that doesn't work, then we need to set some variables in Windows. So I'm going to restart first of all. All right, we're back, so let's go and try this process again. So let's go to the command prompt, CMD and type in Java version. And uh, do we get any better chances? Yes, this time it says, we recognize that you have version 22. Now you can also type in the word where Java, and it will tell you where Java is running from. So it says here, we're in the common files, Java and Java EXE. Okay, so you might think you're done. Let's go back to the Visual Studio code. And I'm gonna try this same process again. So I'm going to try create Java project. I'm going to choose this one here called a quick start from Maven, uh, the archetypes. Give it a name and pick a location. I'll go in the documents folder. And I still have the same annoying error. So even though I've reinstalled or installed Java for the first time, it didn't work. So now let's see if we can fix this problem called Java Home. So I'm going to go to the commands here in uh, Windows and type env, which is a shortcut to get to the control panel. So what I'm interested in is this item called edit the system environment. And this is the control panel window that you'll find. Uh, the bottom button says environment variables. Let's try that one. And uh, we're going to look for anything in here called Java path. So this list of variables at the top does uh, affect only the person that's logged in. So that's me, Shad Sluder. Uh, the system variables down here should affect everybody that uses the computer. So this one's probably the better choice for where to add it. You can add items to both the top or the bottom. So I'm going to choose new down here. The uh, path or the uh, variable name that I'm looking for is called Java Home, and it needs to be spelled with capitals. And I'm going to browse the directory and go find where I installed this thing. So let's go to C and program files and is there a java here there is good and there's a java jdk 22 so i'm going to click ok so this here is the home directory for where my java development kit is so let's choose ok ok again and ok now i believe i need to restart the computer again to make that effective so i'm going to restart and be right back Okay, it looks like the restart is finished, so let's relaunch VS Code, and I'm going to try to start a new Java project. So let's go back to the process that I was choosing, a Maven template, and I'll give it a name, and then I'm going to pick the Documents folder, choose Destination, 
and this time it seems to know what Java Home is all about because it's not giving me an error and a bunch of downloads are going to begin, I believe. So it says we're generating the uh, project in interactive mode. This is what you want here. So it's going to eventually give you a prompt and it says, what do you want this to be called? I'll press enter, I'll press enter. And now I have a build success. Okay, so all of that error for Java Home seems to go away. Let's go ahead and choose open here. And we are ready to go. It looks like I'm going to trust the situation. And here is my app. Let's go and run it. All right, so it looks like Java Home is solved. However, I've just created another error. It says there's a version 1.7 somewhere in my configuration. And then there's another step that you're going to find later if you try to run any Maven actions. And so there's really more errors that you're going to encounter if you're trying to use Java with VS Code. And so I'll give you some links to some videos that are coming up on how to make this thing work correctly for you and to uh, kill all the frustrations that you might be having right now. So remember, subscribe and come to class with me.